Hey everybody, this is Paul Leo Jr. And in this video, I wanted to go over a few ways in which you can um, eliminate, destroy, eradicate any known, uh, mal known or unknown malicious software that is currently on your PC or your Mac. And also to help keep you, uh, help take preventive measures in the future to prevent this from happening again. So I have three tabs up here at the top and the only one that doesn't work with uh, with Mac is this first one is R-Kill. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm using Windows 7 64-bit and all of this applies from Windows, um, to <laughs> basically from back to like Windows 2000 all the way up to uh, Windows 10 now. And so, but basically, we will still be focusing on seven, which is still the most, uh, which is the one that is the the most stable out of all the Windows operating system that's still up to date. So that's the operating system that I'm going to be using. Um, so let's just go right into it. So, however you acquired this um, mal malicious software, it doesn't matter. We're really focused on just getting rid of it. And what people do is they typically do a scan uh, they pay for uh, antivirus software and firewalls that really don't do shit and a lot of the ones that uh, like Norton and McAfee and just to name a couple that you actually pay for are actually more susceptible to receiving uh, malicious software than a lot of uh, free ones out there and also I'm gonna show you the ones that I use um, and that the programs that they won't conflict with each other either so now depending on the severity of the uh, malware or virus whatever malicious software you have on your computer um, you might be limited on what you can do so uh, in Windows 7, all you need to do, Windows 7 and anything before Windows 7, all you're going to need to do is just go to start and restart the computer. And at the beginning of um, whatever uh, computer you have, whatever manu manufacturer it is, when their logo comes up, as soon as the computer starts up, just keep tapping F8. And then once that, um, another screen will pop up with just white text and select safe mode with networking um, what's really great about safe mode is that once safe mode will still allow you in windows but it will only um, start up the absolute necessary uh, windows programs and services and anything on the um, operating system side that need to be uh, used uh, for Windows to actually run. So using safe mode you'll actually notice a big difference in speed because it's not running all of your other crap as well. So uh, so um, the hypothetically the best way would be to do everything in safe mode and in this uh, video I'm not going to be going into safe mode so but if you're using Windows 7 or anything before 7 you just restart the computer tap F8 and then use and then select the option safe mode with networking and then you will just go about how I'm going in this video if you have Windows 8 um, 8.1 and 10 uh, what you're gonna do is when you go to now if you see my mouse you know typically uh, we have to go over to the right hand side and it pulls up a screen over here and we will see the uh, restart button and what you'll do is right before you hit uh, that restart button hold the um, the button on the keyboard that says shift and you hold the button you hold the button shift on the keyboard and then hit restart and then it'll bring you to an option where it says troubleshoot and so forth and just go to the mode uh, that will allow you to have basically it says um, allow you to start up windows with advanced options and then from there you can go into safe mode with networking so now that that is said um, let's let's go right into this so this is a program a lot of these programs I actually found years ago but are still but have been updated since then all these are free they're fantastic uh, there's a site here called bleepingcomputer.com and they have tons of fantastic 
free third-party software um, ranging from uh, from anything from ransomware to malware uh, things to get around different uh, specific types of specific types of viruses and so forth but the one uh, program that they have which is excellent is called Rkill and you can use this link right here bleepingcomputer.com slash download slash Rkill and I would typically use I would download the file file iexplore.exe and once you download that so we're gonna click that this is this is the first step that we do is we go to our we download our kill and from there the let's uh, pause that <laughs> hopefully it'll come up so I'm just gonna keep it and once that is started here we are going to bring it out to the desktop and this is just so it's kind of iExplore.exe is kind of disguised almost as Internet Explorer in a way so there's certain file types that different softwares will not let you uh, operate and what you always want to do what what our kill does is it um, if there if there is any malicious software that is running it stops it from running first it doesn't get rid of it it stops it from running so we're gonna right click and do run as administrator basically it's gonna make its own little text file down here and you just have to let it go through it'll tell you if any malware is running and then it will stop it and the best analogy that I can use for um, for our kill which is what this really is is um, basically you can it's very difficult to delete um, software uh, malware or viruses if they are running so it's like if you were playing a movie or a music file on your computer and you tried to delete it while it was playing uh, it just wouldn't happen and it's the same concept here you cannot delete malware that is already running so um, and that my scan was really quick sometimes it takes a little bit longer depending on the machine you have and so this is your preliminary uh, scan so that sees if anything is running and then it stops it from running it gives you a little text report which is fantastic and after that you're you're pretty much done you're done with this unless you just want to save it for later and now we want to go to the second thing is um, malware bytes and malware bytes has been around for a while it's still fantastic uh, it's just malwarebytes.com go to download it's completely free and the biggest difference between uh, the premium and the free download is that the premium has is a real time has real time protection. So, but we'll, we're going to continue on with this. So, you would just go to the free download, uh, do that, download it, install it, and after that, you would do um, you would open up Malwarebytes and always make sure that um, Malwarebytes. And any antivirus program that you're using is up to date as well so we're gonna open this guy we're gonna make sure that it's updated checking for updates and then we would do a scan from there and let that guy find a scan you'll be really surprised if you've never used malwarebytes what kind of crap gets on the computer and it is in my opinion in doing uh, computer repair for uh, over 10 years now uh, having a company for over five and a half years is <clears throat> it is my recommendation that in any kind of uh, internet security program that I've found Komodo is the best out there in my personal experience I have been using it since 2011 they've done some fantastic work as far as keeping as far as um, uh, continually updating it as far as making it even more lightweight and as far as making it uh, extremely easy to use and like I said it doesn't eat up a lot of memory on the computer and it is in my experience the best real-time protection that you could have uh, on your computer and it's completely free which is fantastic so uh, Komodo.com you go to personal 
and then you would go to free internet uh, security and so they do have the antivirus for Mac and antivirus for Linux as well and Malwarebytes is also available for uh, Macs but for the free internet security just go there and you would just click the free download I wouldn't even worry about the upgrade because the free download is absolutely fantastic it's a, the files a little bit big you can see it's a uh, hundred and sixty six megabytes so after that's done downloading um, obviously um, install it and then get make sure that the malware bytes uh, scan is done and then after the malware bytes scan is done we would go over to we would open up Komodo which I already have running but it'll open up and it'll actually open up a widget if you can see my mouse cursor right here it'll open up a widget right here you can right click on that and disable the widget you don't need to see it all the time you can just let it run uh, right here so uh, same thing make sure that well once you initially install it it will update itself and then do a quick scan uh, and the best thing to do here is to make sure you have a scheduled scan on here so you go to scan custom scan more scan options and then uh, like you see right here I have a scheduled scan what you do is you right click in this box if you want to add your scheduled scan add scan we could just name it weekly scan go into this box right click add you can add files region or folder um, I just do region and I do the entire computer and then I go to schedule every week I leave the default at 7 o'clock on Sundays uh, I hit OK after that it's in here and then you hit OK and it stays so I'm actually just going to uh, remove this one because I already have it running um, so you would hit OK and Komodo is the full package uh, that is your internet security that is uh, your firewall this little C down here is what is keeping any threats away from your computer and I've actually had even files on my computer that I've tried to open manually that weren't um, specific, they weren't viruses but there was an aspect to them where they really weren't certified so that even with that I could not open it with Komodo but I do a scan every single week uh, with Komodo and I try to do a scan every single week with Malwarebytes and it always comes up with zero whenever I do it Komodo catches everything so even things that you may have uh, opened up say from an email and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff if it as long as you continually update Komodo you will not have an issue I've had customers since 2011 who have still been using the uh, device I worked on in 2011 and also 2012 and I told them to continue to um, do what Komodo says when Komodo asks you to update, update when Komodo asks you to scan, do a scan. And they continually have, and they have not had a <coughs> any sort of threat get by in five years, So, which is fantastic. So this is, in my um, experience, um, not even my opinion, but just my experience, on the best ways to... Um, to rid yourself of, um, <clears throat> like I said, any antivirus, any malware, or any malicious software that is known or unknown that is on the computer, and then also to have a, and then having the preventive um, side of it as well. So making sure that you are completely safe while you're online. Uh, Malwarebytes is completely free. Uh, Komodo is completely free. Uh, R kill is completely free and R kill in this instance is called iExplore.exe and like I said I would always recommend to uh, do all of the uh, installations and scans in safe mode because in safe mode you have a better chance of um, getting rid of all of the not that you don't have a good chance of getting rid of it in the regular mode in the normal mode but in safe mode, you have a, uh, you still have a higher chance of getting rid of uh, whatever sort of uh, malicious software is on the computer. So 
those are my that's my those are my three recommended programs to use um, especially if you know that you have uh, some sort of virus or malware you can keep uh, malware bytes and Komodo on the uh, computer at the same time you can have them you you can have them run at the same time they're not going to conflict with each other at all um, it's not like having two different uh, antiviruses up where they can conflict with each other and then uh, run themselves inoperable so the long story short is get into safe mode with networking uh, make sure um, start uh, iExplore.ex or download rkill and then run this as administrator when that is finished uh, install malwarebytes make sure it's updated and then run that scan and then remove whatever threats it finds when that is finished uh, install Komodo um, and I would highly suggest uninstalling whatever other antivirus software you have especially if you're paying for an anti um, an internet security software excuse me so especially if, if you are paying for internet security software I mean in 2016 that's just absolutely that's just it's crazy now it's completely unnecessary that a lot of there are, are so many uh, different kinds of software out there that are free that are extremely um, more efficient uh, a lot easier on the computer uh, than any uh, paid subscription, but Komodo, I have, I am, I stand at one hundred percent behind Komodo, and I have uh, for over five and a half years now. So, um, and that's it. So, I really, really hope this helps you guys out. Uh, it has gotten rid of for any customer computers that I have that I've worked on. Um, I've gotten rid of tons of. Uh, um, I would say collectively over five and a half years now, I've gotten rid of. Um, at least uh, you know tens of millions of uh, viruses and malware and ransomware which is like the absolute worst one uh, ransomware so and malware bytes is fantastic at getting rid of, rid of ransomware and keep yourself protected um, it sometimes it might be worth it to um, actually pay for malware bytes but you do not need to pay for Komodo Komodo will keep you safe even if you don't pay for malware bytes uh, Komodo will definitely 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 um, keep you safe while you are online It is the best um, internet uh, security package that I have found make sure you go through the prompts um, slowly and read everything it has to say um, while you're installing it so and that is all I got so I hope um, if you have some sort of uh, uh, virus or malware or whatever it is on the computer that those three things can uh, can benefit you and get rid of all that crap on the computer and then make sure you are at zero threats and continue to be safe online uh, as you progress into the future so thank you for watching please leave a comment uh, and like the video uh, much appreciated and I'll see you guys soon later